Hello everybody, I'm Mako and I just want to make a quick little video showing how to change projectile speed with the new Overwatch Workshop update. So if you didn't know, you could actually always change the speed of projectiles, but you could only speed them up to about 500% I believe. But now you can actually slow them down with the Workshop update, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to do that. And also, if you're looking at the background right now, you can see how to speed them up if you don't know how. Alright, so first thing you're going to want to do is go to Settings, and after you go to Settings, go to Workshop and then add rule. After you add rule, change ongoing global to ongoing each player, then create action. And after you go to create action, change the action to projectile speed. And you can do this by just typing it in. You don't have to search through all the variables and everything. And then you want to change projectile speed percentage to subtract. You can do that just by searching again. And then under the top value, make it sure it's 100. And then the bottom value, change it to whatever you want to subtract it by. I did 95, so it's going to be super slow. The higher you go on the second number, the slower it will be. All right, here we are. As you can see, it works, but don't leave, don't leave, don't leave. There's a lot of problems. And as you can see right here, Faro works fine, but Hanzo doesn't. Projectiles with arcs won't work with just this. You have to add more to it. So let's add more to this. Press escape, then after you go to escape, you should be able to see open workshop editor. Just go there, and then after that, go to your rule. You can add a new rule if you want. If not, just go under this rule. And then after that, go to create action, because you want to create another action. This time, when you go to search for the action, change it to projectile gravity instead of speed. And then after that, you want to change number to absolute value. It's at the top, so you don't really have to search for it, starting with an A then just restart your match and projectiles that are, are or projectiles that arc will now go straight except for they will still arc as you'll see in the background hanzo's arrows will still arc a little but it's um for the most part they won't just droop down the second they get shot also if you want projectiles to droop down just change the absolute value to uh, 100 or whatever you want, depending on how much you want them to fall, because adding more gravity means they will fall faster. But there's still more problems. Still more. If you're just trying to have this for every single character and have it the same projectile speed, this is, um, this is it. But there's a lot more variables you can add, so this is going to be a little bit more advanced right now. Alright, so say you want to have different projectile speeds and different gravities. You're going to have a bit of a trouble. It's a tedious process to make it differing because you have to do it for every single character. So normally when you go to workshop and it says under team, it says player, change player to the character you want to change it to. So for right now, I'm going to change it to Farah. However, when you see when I restart with these rules where it's only Farah, it will carry over. Say I am on Hanzo, everything will stay like Hanzo normal projectile speed, everything. But then I swap to Farah everything will be the slow projectile but sadly it carries over from far to every other projectile character so now when i swap back to hanzo projectiles are very slow so you have to actually go in and change it to every character as i said all right to keep it simple here are my current rules i have hanzo with a projectile speed subtracted by 95 so it's like i'm just going to call it he has a projectile speed of five However, in the rules, I also have it so far as projectile speed is 100, so it's normal. So that means when I swap back to Farah from Hanzo, Hanzo's projectile speed will not carry over to Farah. All right, so let's put this in practice real quick. So I swap to Hanzo, I have a projectile speed of 5, and as you can see, it's pretty slow. But then when I swap to Farah, her projectile speed, as you can see, is normal. And that is because I have the rule to saying that her projectile speed should be normal when you're playing Farah. I also have a rule set for Zen that his projectile speed is 50. So when you swap over to Zen, his projectile speed is 50. And it won't carry over from Farah or Hanzo because he has a rule set for his. But say I swap from Zen to a character that doesn't have a set projectile speed like Junkrat. Junkrat's projectile speed will stay at 50 because it carries over from Zenyatta. If you want Junkrat to have his own projectile speed, you actually have to make a rule for that, and then he will have his own rule set for his projectile speed, and no one will carry over from their projectile speed to his. Obviously, I missed a lot while doing this because there are so many variables, but this is what I've decided 
are the basics of changing projectile speed. So if you have any questions, just ask in the comments and I should answer. And if not, the Overwatch forums are always open. I'll leave a link to the forums below with, I believe, the workshop forums. I don't know if those are it's open yet, but if so, there's a forum for specifically the workshop because it's such a big thing. But other than that, that's all I have to say and uh, see ya.